What's up guys, my name is Ross. And I'm Carol. And today we're in the library to discuss confidence and what it means to be confident. We're going to be interviewing people in the library, doing a weather thing, and may I say we're going to be interviewing the extremely, and I say extremely, well-educated people of Carlo and That's what confidence is to them. That's right guys, so sit back, grab your microwave popcorn, some Mountain Dew, whatever you're into, and let's get the show on the road. So guys, I'm Ross, and I'll be doing the weather report. So over here you see we have a um, deep cloud of depression. This may form into a very, very, very strong um, storm of anxiety. So uh, we recommend you guys over there, you get out, socialize, and have a great time. And down here, we have a shining heat wave of happiness. So you guys are doing great. But remember guys, no matter where you are, just stay cool, stay positive, and stay confident. I'm out. Hydra, thanks for being with us today. Um, what do you think confidence is? Um, I think confidence is, is a feeling. Um, I think there's different kinds of confidence. I think there's the outward confidence that what people present themselves as being confident. But I think there's also the kind of inward confidence. So I suppose the feeling that people really feel. Um, so yeah, I think um, yeah, I think confidence is different things to different people. Uh, why do you think people lack um, confidence? I think a lot of things stem from people's childhood. So if someone isn't confident, maybe it's because they have been put down when when they were younger. Um, maybe they haven't had opportunities to really excel at something. Maybe they haven't found something that they're really, really good at. Um, and maybe they don't think very highly about themselves. Um, and I think it has a lot to do with maybe the people that they hang out with um, and how they see themselves. Uh, do you have any advice to give to people who might be lacking confidence? Yeah, I think a big thing around confidence is finding something you're good at. Like, when I was growing up, I wouldn't have been very strong, say, academically, right? Um, and I found, like, I'm big into cooking and I'm good at it. And I found, so I found cooking and I'm thinking, oh my God, I love it. So then I'm doing something I love. I'm doing something I'm good at. So that gives me confidence. Hi, I'm Margaret from Carlo Libraries. We have a marvellous collection of books here on mind matters. Everything around your mental health. For example, I have here Confidence, Super Confidence by Gail Lindenfield. A book for teenagers, Stress Less, an inside out approach, and many, many more titles which you can choose from. It's free to borrow from Carlo Libraries. What's up, guys? It's Paul here in the vault, and today we're going to be going around the streets of Carlo to see what the people of Carlo think about the topic confidence. We're going to see how confident Carlo is, so let's jump right into this. What is confidence to you? Okay, I would say confidence is to me, confidence is something that you learn from a young age and grow into it. I think that confidence is feeling good in your own skin, feeling happy with yourself, being able to go out every day and feel you're happy, you're the best you can be, and that people look up to you. It's been comfortable in your own skin, uh, and I suppose not really caring what everybody else thinks. You know, having the confidence to be you and not worrying about what everybody else's opinions of you are. If you're worried about your mental health, check the internet. There are lots of great websites. So today we're going to be talking to uh, Kathleen Hulan. She's a chief executive of the Carroll County Council. Uh, hey, Kathleen. Um, and we're going to talk a few questions about confidence. Um, so, like, what do you think confidence is? Well, I think confidence is being uh, comfortable in who you are, mm. uh, comfortable in your skills and your abilities, and uh, being interested in what you're talking about or what you're doing, so that that in itself uh, brings out confidence. And I suppose confidence is, comes from being uh, happy and having friends who support yeah. you and having a family that support you. Yeah. Why, why would you think uh, people have a lack of confidence? I think part of it is that they're maybe nervous or afraid of a new experience. Mm. Uh, they may be shy, you know, and yeah. maybe haven't had an opportunity, uh, you know, to experience uh, new things. So yeah. I think we gain in confidence by learning. So if you get a chance to do new things mm. and try out new challenges, I think that helps build your confidence. And yeah. um, like, would there be any? Would you be able to give any advice to some people maybe that might have? lack of confidence 
in themselves or anything? Well, I think if they were to go maybe get advice, maybe from a teacher or, you know, a friend or, you know, maybe of their parents. Yeah. Uh, and likewise, maybe there might be some training they could do. Uh, but I think um, if they're going into some unknown situation, if they can try and prepare as best they can yeah. and think about what situation they're going into and what they might be asked to do, I think that gives them yeah. confidence. But to believe in themselves really is most, and to think back what they've already done with their lives, and I think that helps them to grow in confidence yeah. and, and, and show that they're confident. Jenna, I'd like to ask you a few questions about confidence. Okay. So, like, um, what is confidence? I suppose to me, confidence, Keith, is being comfortable in your own skin, being happy with the person that you are, and accepting yourself, you know, just for the person that you are, and, and being able to look in the mirror and think, yeah, I'm okay, Jack, I'm doing my best. What is confidence? Confidence for me is the ability to get things done for the right reasons. Confidence starts saves. Confidence is the ability to be able to talk to the camera in the middle of a busy street and smile at the same time and be coherent. What makes you confident? Um, mainly the support of my family, friends, uh, my work colleagues, I suppose, giving me the, the uh, encouragement I need to, to get those things done and to do them properly. I suppose friendship, taking part in clubs, Groups, sports, things make you feel better, things that help you learn, things that help you grow, things that make you better as a person. Georgia, I could really do a book on my self esteem. There's one for that right here. Catch. Hi, today I'm here to talk to um, Leanne Ryan Carlton from the Regional Youth Services, and I'm going to ask you a few questions on confidence, if that's okay. Yep. Um, first question, what do you think confidence is? Uh, for me, I think confidence is, is when you completely know yourself and accept yourself exactly, flaws and all. I also think it's about someone that has uh, no fear of just living their life and doing exactly what feels right for them. Um, why do you think people might have a lack of confidence? I suppose sometimes for everybody, both young and old, it's difficult to be yourself and maybe if that's a little bit different to everyone else, maybe you're prefer to fit in. So that's probably people maybe a bit scared to be themselves, to be a bit outside the box. And do you have any advice on how to gain more confidence? Um, I think, I suppose the best advice I would give young people or anybody is to um, live the life they want to live and go for it. Um, do you think younger people are more or less confident now that, nowadays? I think it varies. I think um, some people seem more confident, but maybe aren't. And then um, I think it can it can vary from person to person. But I think there's a perception that young people are more confident, but it's probably not necessarily true. They're probably fitting in a lot better. Maybe. Yeah. And um, do you think that the older generation understand that you know understand confidence? I think more? whether you're young or old, confidence can be an issue. And I think, again, going back to what I believe it is, it's a b I believe it's about being comfortable with yourself, not being afraid to make mistakes, taking the chances and living your life fully. So I think that applies to any human being, whether you're a young person or an adult. OK, well, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Live every moment. Laugh every day. Love beyond words. <laughs> Don't take life too seriously. What is confidence? Um, I suppose confidence for me is believing in yourself and being happy with yourself inside and out and also being happy with what you say and what you do. Uh, what makes me feel confident is when I'm doing something that I'm sort of trying to uh, work for, if I'm trying to achieve, like uh, I put more, uh, more of my confidence goes into that than like if it was anything small. Uh, my family and all that helped me support and uh, friends uh, that all just helped me support and doing what I want to do. What makes you feel confident? Uh, simple things such as like my artwork, my music and uh, hanging out with friends. What makes me feel confident would be socialising with my friends. Um, do you think that today's young people are confident? Um, I don't really think they're as confident as they should be because 
of all the bullying in primary school it built up so much anxiety in people and they just they wouldn't feel more confident in themselves and confidence is not having to worry about doing something just knowing you can do it So from the information we got today guys, we can conclude that confidence is about getting out, being social and unleashing your inner party animal. That's all we have for today guys, we'll see you next time when we talk about relationships. Peace. Oh